Oh, British Columbia, on the surface you are a beautiful place to be, hence the title, Beautiful BC. This, however, is a series about the beauty that lies beneath the surface, that lies within the very soul of British Columbia. This, my friends, is a series about art. Now, you may be asking yourself why the bloody hell a British guy would be telling you about your world here in Canada, but we'll talk about me in a minute. This series aim is to be an introduction, an education, and an exploration into the importance of art and how easily accessible our art history is here in BC. Okay, so let me introduce myself. My name's Stuart, and about a year ago, my wife Angie and I had a baby. Baby girl, what's this face? As newbies to Canada, and as a new father, I feel the need to explore the stories that surround the place my family and I call home. I is ready to go. Ready to go. Focus is good. I'm trying to get you in focus. You're too cute. For the next 10 days, I'm going to leave behind my family, take my camera and a small film crew, to be led on a journey with a wonderful Canadian art guru called Paul. I'm going to miss you. Kiss for dad. <laughs> You're filming it. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so the journey begins. We're on our way to Penticton to see Paul Crawford, who is my guru for this trip. This is our guide, our person to show me the way into Canadian culture. He is a very good person to speak to about this kind of stuff, because wait till you see his house. Wait till you see where this man lives. It is consumed by art. How do I see Paul? I would tell you that's a pretty complex question. <laughs> Uh, it would be hard, hard. You have to meet him, that's it. You just, you have to meet him. Well, uh, he's my husband. He is one passionate person about wanting to give everybody an experience of art. The man is just a buzz and a go all the time. He's just like, go, go, go. And he's always got words of encouragement. I see Paul as a mentor to many, and he has done so much for the city of Penticton. Do you remember the first time you went to his house? It was madness. It was, I could have, it was, there was no wall space. It was all art. And then it was piled up too. Hey, Stuart, welcome. Welcome to my house. Thanks, buddy. Hey. Wow, you got a bunch more up since I was last here. A little bit. <laughs> Some say not enough. <laughs> Take off your coat, come on in, let's have a chat. Thanks, man. Paul Crawford, well, thank you very much for letting me into your house. This is fantastic. Well, thanks for coming. I'm glad to be able to share <laughs> part of my story with you. It's funny how that when you come in, even though I've been here before, it feels like there's always something new to observe and look at and enjoy. Well, I try to, you know, move things around as best I can. You know, everything here has a great story, and it's something I really value. Paul, why? Why art? Well, think about the first song that you listened to when you met your wife. What's the film that inspired you to become a filmmaker? What are the things that you look at every day that inspire you? They're works of art. Art is everywhere. Isn't that a Justin Bieber song? Could be. Should be. He's so deep, you know? It is deep. <laughs> oh, I love Canada. So what was the first piece of art that you bought? First thing I ever bought in terms of art was a photograph by Josef Karsh. Okay. Yeah. Who's Josef Karsh, sorry? Josef Karsh is a renowned Canadian photographer born in Armenia, came to Canada, and made himself famous in the 1940s by photographing that famous portrait of Churchill with him sitting there scowling. I was at the lowest of my lows in Victoria and I walked into the thrift store and realizing this is what my life was coming to, you know, I'm gonna have to suck it up and, you know, live the thrift store lifestyle from here on in. And I walked in and there it was. I found this photograph by Yosef Karsh and I wrote him a, a letter and he wrote me back and sent a signed self-portrait, you know, within the month. And then I thought, wow, if this guy's willing to take the time to write back to me, that's pretty cool. And then from every piece of art I bought, I just would instinctively reach out and find out who the artist was and research them. And if, I, if they were dead, then I'd find someone that they knew and, and meet them and learn the story of the work that I had and the people that they knew. And it's taken me on a 20-year journey.
I am excited to go on this journey with you. And especially being new to Canada and having a little Canadian who now is also extremely new to Canada. Now my knowledge will keep growing of Canadian culture and history and art, which I'm really excited about sharing with her. We have an incredible artistic history. So that to me is what's really cool as a Canadian buying our art here is that you know you can reach back into history and learn about our cultural history through a single object that you might find at a thrift store, but you could still connect to people that can actually tie you right back to that very foundation. Having had the chance to connect with Paul at his home in the Okanagan, we've decided to continue our journey back to the foundation of Paul's art collection, the home of Emily Carr and renowned Canadian artist Michael Morris, the capital of our province, Victoria. Victoria.